We've been talking a lot about coaching changes across the Lone Star State. One of them that came down a couple of months ago, back in January. The we, we, we said before that probably the high school football program of record on the South Plains is Wolfworth Friendship. Their coach, Brad Davis, leaves, and they bring in a young gun to come in and, <laughs> and take over the, the program. The new head coach of the Wolfworth Friendship Tigers joining us now is Coach Jay Northcutt. Coach, how are you? Doing good. How, how are y'all doing? We're doing excellent. How are things in beautiful Wolforth? Oh, they're awesome, awesome. Uh, have you have you gotten settled in yet? I know it's been a couple of uh, I know it's been a couple of uh, months, and I know that uh, you know there's a lot of moving parts around any sort of move like this. But uh, have you have you felt yourself getting settled into the job? Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there. Getting settled in. We've been busy and uh, figuring everything out, and getting my family moved here, and doing all that good stuff. But uh, I'm definitely start starting to uh, feel like I'm learning the ropes at least. You are a guy from from that part of the state. You, you played at Plainview, uh, and and kind of that's where your your high school football career was. Uh, when this job came open, and and the job at Wolfworth Friendship uh, became available, why was this the job uh, that you felt like you know what this is the one I want to go and grab? Well, you guys kind of touched on it, uh, you know, in your intro there. Growing up in Plainview, you know, we always knew uh, about friendship and about the culture here, and we were obviously very familiar with the success uh, that friendship had. And, you know, I just grew up knowing it was a great place. And so when the job came open and and I, I put my name in for it and just kept my fingers crossed because I knew that if I could – get fortunate enough to land the job here that it would be a great one and you are you you're leaving a, a job there at Saxe where you were uh, the offensive coordinator for uh our friend uh coach barons out there at, at Saxe. It, it, this is i imagine it couldn't have been easy for you you know I, I know there's the excitement of getting the new job out there at friendship but but i imagine it, it wasn't necessarily an easy decision to, to leave a program and leave a you know a coaching staff that's been so consistently excellent no, you're right. It it wasn't. I mean, I don't get me wrong. I've been more than excited to be here at Friendship. I have to pinch myself every day when I come in to make sure that uh, that it's real. But you know, I, I developed a lot of good relationships and uh, you know knew a lot of good people there at Saxe. And you know, it was hard leaving those guys. And and we had a very talented team last year, and a lot of those kids were were coming back as seniors and uh you know that definitely made you know coming to friendship a little bit tough you know leaving those kids for sure you know so you're you hit the nail on the head with that uh, we're talking with jay northcutt the new head coach of the wolfworth friendship tigers here on dctf live get involved with the conversation in hashtag dctf live I, I know that there's a lot of intrigue coach about what this offense is going to look like. You know, out there at Saxe, you guys put up big numbers, and you guys put up points uh, in, in bunches. Friendship was a program in the past couple of years that have kind of has kind of run out of a multiple I formation. Uh, how do you balance that? How do you balance wanting to give your, uh, put in your offensive identity with the fact that these, you know, a lot of these kids have, have only run a more traditional maybe I formation offense? Right. Well, one thing I think you do that, that, that we've already started doing is, is you start early, you know, and you, you really give the kids opportunities to come in and work on the skills that they're going to be necessary or that are going to be necessary for them to be good at the things that you're going to ask them to do. So you give them extra opportunities to put in extra work and, you know, you make it make it uh, clear that that's what it's going to take to to get good at what we're going to need need them to do when it comes fall you know so that's the biggest thing that we focused on you know and it's just a it's a time where we'll come in and we'll teach them the schemes and uh uh we're having spring ball which is the first time that friendships had that and that's going to be big for us because it gives the the kids a a chance to get a head start and it gives us as coaches a chance to evaluate those kids and know exactly how they fit into our system you're taking over for a guy, Brad Davis, who was there for, for a long time, there 11 years. Uh, when you introduced yourself to the community, when you 
introduce yourself to your players. You know, as the guy who has to come in and, and take over for a guy who has been in a program for, for a, a more than a decade, what was your message to, uh, to your players uh, as far as letting them know, you know, who you are and, and what you guys are going to be about? Well, one of the main things I focused on was, was just telling them how much respect that I had for the program that coach Davis and, and his dad, both, mm-hmm. uh, you know, what they had done here, you know, and, and recognizing that I'm fully, or, or excuse me, letting the kids in the community know that I'm fully aware of the culture and the tradition that, that friendship has. And that's one of the things that, that has made this place so great, you know, and there's, there's just so many characteristics here, uh, in our community that really set friendship up for success. Uh, I like to use the word football dynasty. I know sometimes people mm-hmm. give me a hard time about that, but I think coach Davis and, and his dad, really started that and you know we're a one school town here every kid's a tiger we've had tremendous growth we've got great facilities we've got great administrators great teachers and there's an expectation here that puts importance on athletics and to me those are a lot of the ingredients that you would want to have uh, in a program to really build it and for it to be successful. I think you're exactly right. I remember being out there in uh, at Friendship a couple of years ago, and you walk through the athletic building right there next to, to your, y'all's beautiful stadium out there, and you just see all these golden footballs just all just lining <laughs> yeah. the hallways and and yeah. so I imagine that's the best thing you can do is just turn to your guys, you know, turn to your players and say, "Hey, guys, see all those? Let's just keep doing yeah. that." <laughs> right, and that's that's exactly what we've done. And I walk in every day and look to my left and see that whole case of footballs, and it reminds me about the tradition that they've built here. And I'll promise you, we touch on it in some fashion every day, that our job is not not only to uphold that tradition, we're going to expand upon it. We're talking with Jay Northcutt, the new head coach of the Wolforth Friendship Tigers here on DCTF Live. Get involved in the conversation at hashtag DCTF Live. Coach, not a whole lot of guys get the opportunity to come in and, and, and all of a sudden inherit one of the most talented running backs, uh, not just in, in the area, but but in the state. Uh, but, but boy, Garrison Johnson put on a show uh, last year. And, uh, you know, I think, the, I think there's a, a notion that at Saxe, y'all didn't run the ball. Y'all ran the ball a, a fair amount. You had an 1,100-yard 11, rusher last year as well. As the guy who now gets to see him uh, work out every day, uh, give me your uh, your first impressions on Garrison Johnson. Well, he's a very very talented kid, just like you guys mentioned, and and I'm really excited about him as well as many of the other kids. Mm-hmm. But he's one of the hardest runners that I've come across in a long time, you know. And and he he backs that up with he's got a good frame on him, he's got good vision, he's got good balance, he's got good hands. Uh, and then on top of that, he's a good kid and he's a good person, you know, and so he's somebody that I'm very excited about, uh, just as well as, as many of the other kids, uh, the kids here, I've been so proud of them because we've put in, or we've, we've done a lot of things that are different for them that would be considered changes. And they've really embraced those things. And and he's one of those type kids. And, 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 you know, he had some of the same questions that you brought up about running the ball and what that would be like. And. Yeah, for whatever reason that you know at Saxe, I think a lot of times they associated that with the, with the passing game. But uh, you know, we were also a team that had success running the ball as well. I am, I imagine y'all are going to be a bit multiple. That's that's kind of been your uh, your, your calling card. And I, I want to ask you one more question. I know you're a busy man. Want to want to get one more question in on you? Uh, you you're entering a, a district. Uh, you know, it's. Uh, the little Southwest Conference out there, one of the most you know storied districts <laughs> in the state. You're going to deal with the Midland schools. You're going to deal with the Odessa schools, Amarillo, Tascosa, and then oh yeah, San Angelo Central, who had such a great year last year. Do you have a feel yet for uh, for what to expect in District Two Six A play? Well, you know I'm expecting a tough opponent each week, and mm-hmm. I think that's what we're going to get. I mean, you know, to me, it, it's it's a really uh, Oh, I'm trying to think of a good word for it. It's it's a good feeling to be in a district that has a history of having so much tradition and success. Is you know just like you mentioned the teams that are in it, and uh, you know that's a big part I think of of what makes this area uh, you know unique. 
And like I said, I, I'm expecting each week to have somebody that's going to be well coached or we're going to be playing somebody that's well coached. They're going to play hard and they're going to give you a run for, for your money every time you set foot out on the field. He is Coach Jay Northcutt. He is the new head coach of the Wolforth Friendship Tigers. Follow him on Twitter at jnorth0513. Coach, appreciate your time. Congratulations on the new gig, and uh, best of luck this offseason and down the road. Hey, thanks, guys, and thanks for having me on. There he goes, Jay Northcutt, new head coach, the Friendship Tigers. You talk about a first head coaching job. Uh, this is This is the equivalent, if you were to do an NFL like an NFL, or no, let's do a college football uh, okay. example, okay? This would be like, let's use Chad Morris as an example. Okay. And this is all due respect to SMU. But Chad Morris, hot assistant for a long time, yep. right? Never yep. been a head coach in the college right. ranks, but hot assistant for a long time. Yeah. This would be like him taking over at, let's say, Penn State. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just Arkansas. all of a sudden, Arkansas. Like, a, a team that has so many skins on the wall over the right. years, but just isn't quite there right now. Right. Yeah. And so, here he is, you know, Coach Northcutt jumps in and, and takes this job there uh, at um, at Wolfer's Friendship. And, uh, I like the ambition. Yes. It, Love it. It's, it's very, it's, it's, it's ambitious. Yeah. And, look, he gets to inherit a guy in, in Garrison Johnson, who 1,500-yard rusher as a sophomore, um, you know, eight, uh, 18 touchdowns. This is a kid who is a stud, 6'1", 215. And, and I think that th- Saxe kind of falls in the same, they get the, the same rap as like Baylor. Right. That you go, oh, well, they, they just throw the ball over the field. And right. it's easy to see why. Look, they got Jalen Maiden. They got right. a, a ton of uh, yeah. athletes. But they ran the ball pretty well last year. I mean, they had an 1100, they had Christian Cole who ran for 1100 yards. I mean, they almost, they almost ran as much as they passed. And so there's a lot more balance of the offense. So Garrison Johnson's going to get his chance to shine. Right. And I'm just interested in seeing the, there's always that notion of you're inheriting these pegs, right? Yep. Do you, um, do you kind of make sure that you put those pegs in the right holes or do you say, okay, let's make sure. And, and, and uh, I want to, I want to install my offense, even if that means a square peg in a round hole. Right. It's going to be interesting to see uh, what friendship does this year. And our thanks to coach Jay Northcutt for hopping on with us.